Hey, this is Rob, and I wanted to um, look back at this original sketch that we made because we should be able to make changes. So we saw that I could just click. Uh, sorry, let me edit this sketch, and I can um, I can just click and move this. That seems to work pretty well, but um, when I tried to move this, it obviously something went wrong. So a couple of things went wrong. So uh, I wanted to ensure that I had the right constraints here. One is that this seems to get uh, disconnected once I move that and um, so it looks like I'm missing a constraint here that says that these two should be tangent so uh, let's make sure they are and then the same here this and this should be tangent and these should be tangent and um, that's it I think it's telling me I've done enough um, I'll try and move it now seems like at least those things all stick together like they're supposed to uh, there is an interesting detail there. It seems like they come disconnected somehow. Uh, something's happening there. That's um, these are not actually uh, connecting to each other. It's a little strange. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, this and this should have equal diameters. Um, it doesn't seem to help. This point and this point should be coincident um, so maybe that's all it was uh, so in any case uh, seems like it's fixed now and it's worth doing this trying to move things around and see if they break because that means the constraints probably aren't all there so the last thing is how do I make it so that moving this resizes uh, you can see it's kind of resizing in strange ways but it, it really needs to stay centered over the slot you can't have um, this move and be away from the slot so uh, the, the reason why we came across this was because I tried to change the diameter here, which caused all kinds of problems, right? So uh, let's try that again. And, and actually, that was that was wrong because it used to be two inches. This is why you should stick with one one unit of measure. So we're in millimeters. If I double click on it, it says two inches because that's what I entered originally, but that's fifty point eight millimeters. So now if I go to forty five millimeters. Uh, see that this slot is coming off of the uh, off of the arm. So to resolve that, the best way to do it is to make a line that goes right through uh, the center. I guess I could make it from here to here, and uh, I can make it into a construction line. And then what I want to say is that um, points like this, which is the center of this arc, need to be concentric, I'm sorry, uh, coincident with that middle line. So this also should be concentric with, uh, sorry, coincident with that uh, line. And, and even these ends, right, like the center of that arc on the end, show my way over there, uh, that should also be coincident with that middle line. Um, Seems like I've got enough constraints because it's telling me I'm over constrained. Uh, so I think now if I try and move these parts, what I should see is that it actually adjusts correctly. And it is. So even when it moves, it moves that, uh, that pin because it needs to. It has constraints there as well. So um, that's, that's about it. I could, uh, I think I could dimension this um, circle and use that as my way of specifying the, the uh, width of this whole thing and of course it's still centered on there and I think now if I resize this to 45 millimeters everything adjusts properly so that's really nice and uh, just to show you what I was going to show you in class that's D1 the uh, 45 millimeter diameter of this circle um, if I stop this sketch and uh, at this 3D thing without the sketches on. Um, hmm. Okay, Some, something went wrong there. I'd have to fix that, and I think that's in the uh, basically. If I go back to here, you can see that was that event. That feature is the extruding, and I can edit that feature, and uh, looks like it skipped part of the um, profile. So let's see. Let's 
so it should also be including this. Let's try and make sure we include everything here. Hmm. Try that again. Edit feature. Turn on the sketches. Well, uh, there we go. <clears throat> and I think um, this was probably, <laughs> who knows what it was. I hate that it gets rid of the distance, but I think uh, probably 0.125. And I can hit OK. And let's see, now that it's gone back to the end of the timeline, it looks like we're close, but I was also missing another part there. Sorry, let's do this again. Missed out on that little bit. This is the part that Holly pointed out today. <laughs> and uh, now we should be okay. Okay, so sorry for that little sidetrack, but we need to uh, fix details like that when we make a change so that everything kind of propagate, propagates properly when we make changes later. So again, D1 is this uh, diameter and if we go to uh, the modify menu and change parameters, we'll find D1 right there. It's 45 millimeters. Well, if I wanted to change that to uh, 55 millimeters, I could see that the model actually changes um, based on that that update of this dimension. So I'll go outrageous and see what happens. It still works. So I suspect the slot wouldn't be long enough at this point. So really, if it really wanted to get fancy with this, the slot should be uh, related to the diameter here. But, um, but we're not trying to do that. We're just trying to get it to work. So um, we, could, we could try moving this joint right now, but I have a feeling it won't be happy. Let's see. So it gets about there, and that's the end. Uh, let's see. So what that would mean is we'd have to make the crank, the, the arm longer, and we'd have to make the slot longer. Uh, let's try moving it the other direction. Oh, almost. So uh, we could, like I said, we could actually make this slot uh, related through it through constraints to the size of this. Um, but mainly I just wanted to show you that we have the ability to adjust uh, by actually changing the variables that make up the, the geometry. So let's put it back down to 45 and when I hit OK, we're back to where we were. So I um, just wanted to kind of complete this whole project by making sure that our sketch was properly constrained. It had a couple problems and so uh, that should do it.